Well, friend, what I have over here is a Edison phonograph from 1905. This was called the Edison Jim phonograph. It was the smallest player he ever made. It's real tiny. You could move it from place to place. And it wound up with a spring just like you would wind up a music box. It sold for $7.50. And you'd think, well, I'd buy one for $7.50, but that was about three days' pay at the time, so you might have had to buy other things like uh, food and shelter. But nevertheless, people bought these machines in droves, in the thousands, so they could hear these little two-minute uh, wax records. Here's an example. See, here's Thomas Edison's picture right there. And it says, Edison Gold Molded Record. And here's what they look like. Look at there. Your first records were cylindrical, almost the uh, size of a soda can. And they fit over the mandrel, just like this is what you call a little round cylindrical metal part. They fit over there. And the needle, by way of a worm gear, would push the needle across the record and thus reproducing it through the horn, where your sound comes out. Uh, this is where the record starts, and there's your grooves, and then that's where it ends. And he had two minutes of music. We make it have been a military band, uh, some good old heart song like Silver Threads Among the Gold, or um, a religious number, or even uh, vaudeville and minstrel shows. There was, there was a lot of those back then. And uh, many a snowy evening, the family would like to gather around and hear the latest Edison records and just play them over and over and over again. And here, here it is. It's, it's almost 100 years later. This machine still works, and the records still play. Let me tell you something. Will your CD player still be running 95 years from now? Think about it.